Hey guys, G for T here in Southern California. I'm with a real estate expert, Tim. And what we're talking about is the collapse in real estate, how in some ways it's stabilizing because the banks are just keeping a huge amount of inventory off of the marketplace, how people are now squatting in, in abandoned homes, and they're taking these properties by adverse possession. And I want to kind of explore the whole idea that you really don't own real estate, the government really owns real estate. So, what I like to see is a property that's bought, you know, 20 years ago. Um, it doesn't have any any liens, no loans. It's owned free and clear. The people have not paid the property tax in about four or five years. And then what I go do is I like to go and pay those property taxes, and then file a quiet title lawsuit. You're sitting on a property like this that you run out of money. You're like, like, why aren't you fixing it up? Sometimes they they got issues, whatever. And I'll, I'll buy it from them. But if we we hire the private investigators and we track try to track the owners down and we cannot find them, they're gone. We don't know where they are. They could have gone to prison. They could have moved to another country. They just walked away. We don't know where they are. And that's good. Then there's no one to um, press charges, should we say. In, in each state in America, they have different laws as to adverse possession and paying property taxes. In, in some states, it's an ownership state. In other states, it's it's a tax certificate state where you, you get a tax certificate and they pay you a percentage on that. I'm just saying, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. I mean, for the guy who's living on the street, that's pretty good, you know, to live in something like that. And especially if you can put, you know, park it on, on some vacant land, start paying the property taxes, and then after five years file a quiet title lawsuit. Now he's got land, he's got something. Where I live, I live in the San Fernando Valley, and that's a very heavy uh, Jewish community, Israeli community, and uh, there the houses will be selling for over a million dollars. They still are selling for over a million dollars, and they're doing a lot of construction. They'll tear down a small house and they'll build a bigger house, or they'll just do a massive addition, because the Orthodox Jewish people have to live close to a synagogue. They wouldn't live out here because there's no synagogue in walking distance, but the real Orthodox Jews they have to live in either an apartment or a house that's in walking distance to a synagogue. Because on their Sabbath, they're supposed to be walking, not... Yeah, not driving. They can't, they can't walk like 10 miles, whatever. They, they have to walk like half a mile. They have, they have a restriction of how far they can walk. So houses in that area really hold their value. Even in the, in the downturn, they're still worth over a million dollars. Okay, so what, so what made you want to stop right here? Well, this would be a, a prime... Uh, candidate for adverse possession if this property was owned free and clear and had back taxes you know where someone had not paid the taxes for about five years and to me I mean the reason why I say that is because it's obviously